in the movie, um, what was it, Beast of Winds, like some Hogwarts movie based on the Hogwarts world, but before the events of Harry Potter, this character who is like, oh yeah, Fantastic Beasts and How to Train Them, something like that, Fantastic Beasts. We see the main character, I forgot what his name was, let me, let me Google his name real quick. Um, and Fantastic Beasts film series and where to find them with the latest one, 2022 Secrets of Dumbledore Newt Scamander, which is our main character we also have Professor Albus Dumbledore we have Grindelwald Quite, we have quite a plethora of characters, but let's focus on our main character, Newt Scamander. Right, Eddie Redmayne. It's crazy. He's 41, what the hell, he's not level 41. Anyways, back to, back to the most important topic. Damn, this guy's tall as fuck, 182? God. Six foot. Damn. Anyways, I'm going to meet my ass. In the movie, there's a scene in the movie <laughs> it's my uncut channel. Expect scuffed videos, okay, guys. In the movie, Newt Scamander has like he faces some sort of complex magical device like, type of thing. I don't remember, but then it basically exposes your fears in a physical form, and everyone else goes through their fears: fears of dark, fears of of a monster, fears of this, fears of that, fears of death. You know what he fears? You know what Newt's commander, our main character, fears? He fears an office job. I said it. An office job. The classic 9 to 5. A desk appears. Everyone's laughing. Oh, why do you feel fear a desk? It's not funny. I resonated with this immensely. People laugh at me when I say it to them. And they think it's like a funny joke. It's not a funny joke. New Scamander, at least in the story, he fears that because he understands that that is the most probable likelihood of a mundane life, of early death, of just boredom. Life not worth living. And his most probable outcome of his choices, he follows the educational route that's given to him in Hogwarts and everything. Think about it. He gets a really high rank in like the in the thing, uh, in the ma magical association or, or the British magical association of bullshit, and it's really high rank, and he gets a, a really nice desk, and he's really, really, really wasting his life. This is not what he wants to do. The complete opposite of what he wants to do. Of his burning purpose, of his burning passion. I resonated with this heavy. And as everyone laughed, I resonated with it even more. Because I related to it so heavily because like an office job, although a lot of people herald it as like as an, as a nice thing, it's it's not. It's a double edged sword. It's just comfortable enough. It's just comfortable enough for you to not want to change. It's just cushy enough for you not want to change. It's just good enough. For you not want to, for you to not want to change. However, if you work in one of them, this is why the majority of like the college dropouts, the high school dropouts, the uni dropouts that end up working jobs that are bad, or they have to swallow their ego, they have to swallow their pride to work crappy jobs like washer, dishwasher, or cleaner, janitor type type of jobs. They end up being so uncomfortable and frustrated they want to make cha they make a change and they end up doing something else. Otherwise, like feeling their passion on YouTube or being an entrepreneur. And radically changing their life afterwards. Problem with the office job. That people, most people that get an office job, they'll they'll pay. They go to the education system first of all. They pay thousands and thousands of pounds slash dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars for a college degree, university degree. You know, get the office job. Then maybe make twenty, thirty, forty k out the out the gate, which is pretty good money, right? No, it's not. It's not right. You have. A bunch of fucking debt they need to pay. You're not getting paid 50k out the, out the door in the UK. You might get paid that in the US, where the US is a larger, richer country. 
but you're not going to get, going to get paid. It, it, even then, there's this caveat, right? US is a larger rich country and you're getting paid 50k out the door, but your debt is 200k from college and another 50, another 100k something, maybe half a mil. That's crazy. From fucking. From uni. I don't know if there's union. There has to be university in. in uh, is there uni in America? Harvard University. They use interchangeably. College, they call it college. Anyways, <sighs> back to the main point. They end up getting so uncomfortable and frustrated with the situation they desire to change. College or university? You get you get a lot of debt from those. So you'll be working like four years just to pay it off. And that's just about making the money to pay it off. Minus taxes, minus bills, minus rent, minus all this shit. I grow increasingly fearful of the nine to five. Dredgingly boring. Mundane. Just good enough. Lifestyle. In an office. I hate it. I genuinely hate it. And you should hate it too. Maybe like, why are you spreading your hatred? Hatred, not a hatred. It's hatred pr propaganda onto other people. Because if you actually hate it so much, if you dislike it so much, and you're so frustrated, you might actually change and do something about it. See the video right here. Rotting on days and end. Well, I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. I've never seen him before, but I like the thumbnail. Why is so much Apex shit? I've been watching a lot of Apex shit recently, and it's probably destroyed my life. I'm gonna end the video here. I want a scuff video, man. I want a scuff video, man.